Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farm. So what do we got going on today? Well, today I thought I would show you guys what we ended up getting from Greg over at Marble Trading Post. So as you can see, we ended up picking up the Alice Chalmers WD tractor. So stay tuned. I'll kind of walk you guys around this and kind of give you an idea of some of the plans that I have for this piece of equipment here on Class Haven Farms. So if this is your first time here at the channel, uh, my name is Andy and welcome. Um, in last week's, or actually, well, before I go any further, let me apologize first to everybody that we didn't have a video out this past Saturday. Uh, the main reason for that was we were, kids and I were going on vacation. And by the time this tractor showed up, I didn't have enough time to record this, get the grass, grass cut, get everything done. So I just said, you know what, I'll put something up on Facebook and uh, and Instagram. So if you if you would like, you can follow us here on the YouTube channel at Class Haven Farms. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook under Class Haven Farms. So I put something out. So those of you that are um, that follow us that way, you saw that. Uh, so I do want to apologize for not putting a video out. It was just didn't have time. And to be perfectly honest with you, it was just spending time with the kids. It was our it's our second week of vacation. So we're actually in the middle of one right now as I record this. Um, so we just came home from camping up in Hagerstown, and then we're getting ready to run over to Cambridge and be on the water with family. So uh, I just thought before I packed up, I got laundry going, let me go ahead and knock out a quick video. So in the last video, I had given you guys three options. It was either going to be this tractor, the John Deere B tractor, or the Case 450 uh, bulldozer. So we ended up getting this. And uh, you know, as you can see, I got my green shirt on, you know, all you guys know I'm a big John Deere guy. This is the first Alice Chalmers I've ever owned. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, I had no intentions on making this purchase. Um, I actually, when I was over at Marble Trading Post, I was there to pick up that trailer, which if you guys remember in the last video, I talked about real briefly with the LNS line haul trailer. So that was the whole reason that I went to Greg's was to look at that trailer. And while I was there, I came across this thing. So from what I can gather, just a little bit that I've messed with it and looked around, I believe it's a 1953. Um, everything is there. So this is like the perfect tractor because everything is there and it looks completely all original. Nothing is ripped apart. Nothing's been tinkered with. You don't have like things missing and then everything looks like it's there. Now it doesn't run, which was part of the reason why I got the good deal on it that I got. But to be perfectly honest with you, with these old tractors, they don't really need a whole lot to run. It's got the three point hitch. It's got the PTO. It's got the draw bar there. The game plan for this tractor is to use it down in the bottom pasture field for doing hay, hopefully next spring. So instead of putting all the work on the 790 and hooking everything up to the 790, I thought, hey, this would be a good pickup, something different. I did have a friend of mine that dropped off a hay rake to me, so I have a hay rake. That needs some work. That needs some things done to it, but that's not that big of a deal. We'll be able to get it. The one thing that I have noticed that a coil wire is missing, so I don't have a coil wire, so I just need to get one of those. <clears throat> but all in all, everything looks to be here. Now, I haven't tried to turn it over to see if it's unstuck. Um, the, I'm always real big about finding out the history of equipment and things like that. And from what I can gather, um, this came from a gentleman's estate over in St. Mary's County, Maryland, who... Um, had a stroke and ended up passing away and he had this he had the B John Deere he had the case uh, 450 uh, bulldozer and I think some other things so 
I went for this tractor. You know, you guys know me. I'd have loved to have that bee. I would have loved to have the bee. I have a lot of good memories about a bee on my grandparents' dairy farm and all that. But the bee, the tires definitely needed to be replaced. Which anybody that messes around with old antique tractors, you know how much those things are. And then when you got looking around, there was just parts were missing. Things were gone. And I just thought it was going to be more of a headache than anything. I mean, this one, the left rear tire is not great but it will at least air up and hold air for, for a while. So I uh, wouldn't be using this for any tractor pools anytime soon, but uh, the chicken whisperer did ask, he said, Hey, you know, could we use this in parades? I said, absolutely. So, you know, we'll clean it up and get it running and, and put it in some, you know, maybe the Christmas parade. we got a couple Christmas parades we do here. So that will be fun. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to throw a picture up of the chicken whisperer sitting on this thing. And when it got delivered, I'll throw a little quick video in on that. But watching that boy's face um, just get excited and after after uh, after Greg's son Chris pulled out of here with his truck and, you know, Chicken Whisperer ran up and jumped in the seat. And i uh, show you guys, you know, this is definitely not the original seat. <laughs> definitely not the original seat, but it's got the armrest. And uh, Chicken Whisperer was like, Dad, this must be like the deluxe model. <laughs> I said, yeah, it just needs a... Uh, Need some uh, heat and air conditioning in the seat, like some of them fancy trucks, you know. Um, but I'm going to throw some pictures up of, of that little boy's smile when he was sitting on this thing. So I'll throw that up right now. I mean, when you look at that boy's smile, man, that's that's what makes it all worth it. You know, it's... uh. As you guys know, this channel is dedicated to my grandparents' dairy farm. And, and, you know, when I was a kid growing up, seeing my grandfather's 4020 John Deere and being able to, as I got older, you know, ride on it with him and then start driving it, and picking up hay bales and all that. I mean, those were, those were just memories you can't get back. And, you know, watching that little boy sit up on here and get all excited and he's out here turning in. And, I, you know, I'm over here trying to figure out how can I get this thing to run and this and that. And he's, he's like, Dad. Let's just, cause I was taking them to an Orioles game. Uh, like we were on our way to the Orioles game. And then I got the phone call from Chris. I had to turn around and come back here. And, uh, and I, I wouldn't tell him what it was. I said, we got a surprise. I didn't tell him about the Orioles game either. I just told him we were going somewhere. And um, so we came back and uh, it was just funny, like watching him. He was like, dad, can we just stay here? I don't even want to go to the surprise. I was like, well, you kind of do. Um, but he was all ready just to stay here. And dad, I know you can get it running, get it running. And, Let's drive it around. So, um, and then the best part was we go to the Orioles game and when we get there, he's like, Oh, we're going to an Orioles game. He said, well, dad, this is perfect. The tractor's orange, just like the Orioles. So this is funny. Um, but you know, that's, that's what it's all about, man. It's, uh, you know, this journey with me is, as some of you guys know, uh, you know, single dad starting over, um, I lived in my camper for, for a good bit of time and then lived in a little small two bedroom apartment. And, you know, when the kids weren't with me, I, I, you know, I slept on the couch when they were with me and I slept in their room, uh, when, you know, when they, when they weren't with me and, um, you know, to finally get up here on our six acres and, you know, we got our chickens and we got our goats and we're getting everything back. And, uh, you know, it was, it was cool to come across this thing. Again, this was not something that I had, uh, anticipated picking up, but if there's one thing that I've learned in my journey, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta go for it. You know, and if uh, if something piques your interest, just go for it. And I'll tell you, watching that little boy uh, sit on that tractor was uh, was just it was fun. It brought back a lot of good memories for me. So, uh, like I said, I'll just do a really quick walk around. Um, I know nothing about Alice Chalmers tractors. Absolutely nothing. Um, I am literally going to learn as I go. It does look like if there was one thing missing, there should be a platform here. Uh, and it looks like at one point in time there was bolts here. So I don't know where that is, uh, but everything else seems to be there. I mean, the lights are all there. Um, so pretty cool. I mean, if we can, uh, if I can get it running, then we'll use it around here. And then if, uh, if I can, I'll put some decent tires on it and maybe we will take it for some old antique tractor pools and stuff like that. That'll be fun. Um, 
So if you guys are watching this and you know anything about Alice Chalmers tractors and you notice something, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the only other antique tractor that I had prior to this is, and it's actually in my intro video, I had a 1959 Farmall 340 uh, that I actually used to use, uh, used to own property down in Southern Virginia. It was actually supposed to be the retirement property. And I ended up having to sell all that uh, as part of the divorce. Um, but I used to leave that tractor down in my in-laws down there and would go down there twice a year and bush hog the field and keep it cut back. So when we were ready to build on it, we had it. Well, I had to sell that tractor. And uh, the Lily Tamer, when she saw this, she was like, eh, okay, cool. Um, but she even asked me, she said, Dad, is there any way we could get that farm all back? Because I really like that farm all. Um, and I don't know, maybe, maybe one day we'll get something like that back. That was, I'll tell you, that 340, that was a good tractor. Somebody had definitely, they had done a restoration on it maybe 25 years earlier and put some, definitely put some work into that engine, but man, that thing was a beast. And, uh, so yeah, so it'll be fun to get into this. Hopefully I'll get you guys to a cold start video. Um, I don't know when I'll be getting into that only just because of the way my work schedule is right now coming up and going on vacation. But, uh, if you'd be interested in a, in a true cold start, cause I don't know the last time this thing was started. Uh, Greg couldn't tell me that either. Um, so if you're interested in a cold start, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you'd be interested in that. And, um, yeah, just, uh, follow us along as, as I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a like for the video and, uh, you know, leave a comment down below so I can go back and forth with you guys. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one.